So we're given the equation y is equal to x plus 7. And we've been asked to work out the limit of y as x tends to 0. So this arrow means tends to. And that simply means approaches. So as x approaches the value of 0, what happens to y? So one way to work this out is just to construct a little table. So we've got x in the first column and y in the second column. So if x is equal to 10, then we simply work out y by saying 10 plus 7 is 17. If we then remember, we want x to go towards 0. So we need to make our x values lower going towards 0. So let's go from 10 to 1. Well, 1 plus 7 is just going to give us the value of 8. If we make our value of x even lower, so 0 0.1, 0 0.1 plus 7 is 7.1. We can work out the value for um, y when x is 0 0.01, and that's going to give us a value of 7.01. And then if we make x super small, so 0 0.00001, then you can see I get a value of 7.00001. So we've done a few values and you could do a few more if you wanted to use Excel or you know, even just with your calculator, it's very quick. What's happening to the value of Y as X gets closer to zero? Well, we can see that the value of Y is decreasing, but we can see it's also getting closer and closer to the value of seven. So you could imagine if I chose an x value here of 0 point and then did a hundred zeros and then put a one on the end, my value of y would be seven point and then a hundred zeros and then one. And by that stage, the one on the end is so tiny, you know, the number is basically equal to seven. So as our final answer, we can say, well, the limit of y as x tends to zero is equal to 7.